Hi, I'm Tammy Crookshank. I am the Early Years Literacy Facilitator for Gray County, and I am part of the Early On team, and we want to make the transition to school a positive experience for our children and their families. We have some activities that we would like to do in the Early On programs, and we're gonna share them with you, and these help support the transition. The activities are designed to be done using materials that you have at home and you can always reach out to us if you have any questions or want more activities. Today's activities that I want to share with you are all about literacy and letters and language. So we have examples of magnetic letters, um, a special alphabet stew, stamps, a homemade fishing game and puzzles and sponges. So I hope you enjoy. Hi, today we're going to do all of our activities that to do are to do with letters. That's our kind of theme today. So we have a few different activities that hopefully you can replicate in some form at home. The first one is just if you have magnetic letters around your house. It's a great way to interact, talk about the letters, manipulate them. They could be on your fridge at home, but cookie sheets are another great way to enjoy the letters. So you can try to spell words. They, you can take the cookie sheet around the room and try to find some words that might be on a sign in your room, in your house, or somewhere around your home and try to spell out those words. So a cookie sheet makes it very portable and they stick to it great. So that's one activity that you can do. Another activity that we would do is we have some really cool letter stamps. So you may or may not have stamps at home, but if you do, and an ink pad, you can push hard into the ink and stamp it onto a piece of paper and you have your letter. You could try to make a homemade stamp if you have foam letters at your house and glue a couple of them or glue them onto um, like a little block of wood or your mom has a and dad have wine corks so you can glue them on and make a homemade letter even if your adult in your house can cut up a piece of um, a potato and really if they're creative carve a letter on there those can be stamps too so anything that you have that you could just create some letters would be fun Another homemade activity is a fishing rod. So this is just a wooden dowel with some string tape to it and a magnet on the end. Then we cut out a whole bunch of fish and we put letters on the fish and attached a paper clip to it. So all of the letters can be put face down and you can go fishing. So if you do the full alphabet and you catch it, and then you have to try to figure out, oh, I caught a letter T. So that's a really fun game. Children really enjoy the fishing and it can be fish with shapes on it, colors, letters, um, full words as they get older too so it's a kind of one that you'll be able to use for years and hopefully you have some materials around your house that you'd be able to use for that one as well last time we used some play-doh for making ice cream cones and stuff so today what we're going to do is we've printed off a whole bunch of mats with letters on them so you could print off on the computer or you could just write them. But the idea is really working with the Play-Doh, strengthening your hand by squeezing it. And you're going to take some and roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, which is really good to strengthen the hand muscles. 
and making some worms and you're going to practice getting filling in all around the letters to make the shape so same thing if you can't print off s's and stuff on a big piece of paper you can write great big letters to it and use your play-doh to form the letters so that's really helping our hands and we're learning the letters Another fun one that um, possibly you'd have some of these letter beads for um, some of your craft supplies or whatever, but we've made some alphabet stew. I better not drop it. And then we have all of the letters in little bowls for the whole alphabet. And then we have some little bowls and spoons. So. It's a really good activity to try to dig using your eye-hand coordination and your fine motor skill. I'm going to take a nice big scoop of some alphabet soup that has some rice in it. Then I'm going to pick through and I found the letter R. So then I'm going to go around to all of my containers until I find the matching R and put it in there. Now I have a W. Oh, where's the W? S. Oh, and I found the S. So it's a good activity by trying to do that letter matching together. And then when you're done, you can dump the letters back in, really practicing that everything gets back in the bowl, not on the floor. And dump your soup back in the bowl. And clean up your workspace. So that's another fun alphabet soup idea. So there's rice and letters in a bowl. So maybe you have alphabet cereal or alphabet pasta that you could use instead of the alphabet letters and practice um, going through scooping and pouring to find some letters as well. Other things that you may have around your house that you can practice is alphabet puzzles. You might have that, so practicing mixing them all up and laying them out in order, even outside of the actual puzzle frame. See if you can make the alphabet line on the floor. And by any chance, if you happen to have any foam, these are sponges alphabet sponges that you could use depending on what's in your craft supplies um, and you could do um, in the water with the letters or sponge painting with the letters too so lots of ideas about the alphabet today so i hope you have fun doing some of those activities at home today bye